Hey guys, welcome back to another series. This is the elephant shrew that we're going to do. This will be a nice little project, pretty quick project. And so I'm going to show here how to do the armature. And I've made a drawing and I've put a link to the PDF in the description. And this time I think I'm going to use glass eyes. This is a seven millimeter and nine millimeter. We'll see when we get there what size we're gonna need. Many things you can use for eyes. These are little tiny beads if you're doing a really small like mouse or something. These are little cabochons with paper backings printed out and glued. Some glass eyes. I got clear, that way I can paint the back whatever color I need. We'll save those for later. So I've gone ahead and made one armature and then I'm going to make this one on camera while you follow along. And I've decided I'm going to work on one of them before I do the video, that way I kind of know what I'm doing before. I video it and there will also be one that we can look at while we're on camera. So you're going to need florist wire, the 22 gauge, and you're going to need a couple of pipe cleaners, also called Chanel stems. My white Chanel stems for some reason are really fluffy, a little too fluffy for this, this little critter because it's got really, really thin legs. So I'm going to use the tan. But you could use pretty much any color because we're going to cover this in fiber. So as always, you begin by folding it in half. Going to make some even twists. Make sure you're twisting the wire evenly, not one around the other. You want to twist them around each other. It takes a little practice. But just do it loosely and kind of pull as you go down. And on the paper here, the thicker line is where we're going to end the head. And then you're just going to wrap just down to where the front leg would begin. And then you're going to take your second wire. going to place that over the top of the first wire there and then you're going to twist and this is small so you only need the one twist. You're looking to have your shorter wires to be on the inside and your longer wires to the outside. This is the chest cavity here. So you just close that gently and as evenly as you can. And then you'll begin twisting again. You're making the spine. And we're going to be pushing the leg shoulders up a little bit so just kind of line your chest up with where the chest would be. And just keep twisting down. And you're going to end with your down twists right before you would make the curve at the end where I'm pointing right here. I'll show you in just a moment. right there. So you're going to end right before this bend because you're making kind of like uh, butt bones. <laughs> making these little butt bones on each side. So we're making the knee and making the, the back. I don't know what you'd call that. Hawk or uh, heel maybe. I don't know, top, top heel, bottom heel. <laughs> so you're going to do 
and you could do the back and then do the front. I chose to, in the demonstration, do one of each and then show you how to mirror it. I only drew out just the one because that's really all you need because you're going to be mirroring it with the other. If you're following a skeleton, you would be ignoring the back leg. So I didn't bother to draw that part. Only what we need. Okay, so now I'm just mirroring the one leg to the other leg. I haven't decided if I'm going to make the teeny tiny toes. They have such small, tiny, tiny little legs. So skinny. And so the toes are super skinny too. So I haven't decided what to do on that yet. It, it would be neat to make the tiny little toes. And I have made tiny toes before. It's really not that hard. It's a little fiddly. So maybe we will do that. We'll see. You'll know by the next video if we're doing that or not. The smaller you work, the harder it is. I'm just making loops there for where the feet are. Lining everything back up again, making sure everything is lined up. Seeing how he stands, and I'm comparing him with my first. So just clip off the excess wire. And don't be surprised if it shoots across the room. This wire is pretty stiff. Mine shot across the room and hit the window. I still have to go get them. <laughs> Retrieve them. From wherever they flew. So now we're going to take our pipe cleaner. And just attach it at the chest frame there. And loosely wrap down the head and I went ahead and stuck it through the end just to help secure it. You wouldn't have to do that but I figure if we do that that will keep it from slipping out of proportion. So I'm lining that up and you're going to fold it longer than what the template is because when we twist it it's going to get shorter. And if it's a little bit too long don't worry. Rather it be too long than too short. And you could wrap this a couple of times and then clip the rest of it off. I just chose to just continue wrapping down. These little guys have really chunky chests, so it's not going to hurt anything to have extra wire there. we're going to do the tail just wrap it down line your armature back up and then follow the template going down further than what the tail is. And I find when I did this that I'm falling a little short. I want this to wrap a bit back up on the skeleton, so I just pulled some. I didn't need actually that much on the body, so I just pulled a little more slack and refolded. Underneath, you can 
from the top going down, so come underneath, going back up, and then just give it a nice twist. As skinny as the legs are, we didn't have to double up like we did on the previous animal. So they're good the way they are. These floor wires are nice and strong. There's 22 gauge. And you could use white, you could use brown, you could use the green. So we have two armatures ready to go. And the colors that we're gonna use, if you look at the elephant shrew, they have a really rich colored red color and brown and black and tan. So I just pulled out a few of my colors and I'm just going to compare and maybe do a little mixing. So just go through your stash and see what you have. I believe there are also gray elephant shoes, so if you have gray, you could use that. And I'm using core wool, just off-white core wool for the base. All right, so we have two armatures to start. Thanks, you guys, and until next time, please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.